Welcome to another installment of the Dirty and Non Tracing League Special Tatin. And today we got ourselves a good We got some old cars here on this old track. The most famous track in American history, maybe or maybe not. Daytona with cars built in the same decade Daytona was built, which is the 1950s. In this race here, we have some Mercedes SLSs, some Corvette Stingrays, and BMW 507s, and, well, that thing, too. But, as of now, it's the Mercedes looking like they're the fastest of the 50s so far. The flying 50s are showing that they really were flying back in the good old days. Those SLSs are definitely some fast cars, right, Your Honor? The gold wings are, well, they don't have wings yet, but I'm sure at some point in this race they probably will. The AMGs there, the original ones, well, they were definitely fast, but the BMW 507s were no slouch either, but, well, on the straight and with the draft, the SL300s are going ham on them, I must say. I don't know exactly if this was the AMGs or the tuners or whatever, but it, nonetheless, it's the original SL, and I think all in all, it might very well be the best. As for the BMW 507s and the Corvette Stingrays, well, I don't pe think people exactly think of this as a Corvette Stingray. They think of the 60s ones, and well, BMW 507 and... Not really. I would have never heard of it, most likely, if it wasn't for this game. But anyway, back to the racing here, folks. We got ourselves, uh... Not exactly a good one right now, but... It'll become a good one in a little while, I'm sure. Because as of now, it's Ricky's Ghost and the BMW 507 in the lead. And it's fine, but it's not exactly the fastest there. As you can see, the Corvette Stingrays are just a bit faster. About 150-ish there, a bit higher to 170-ish or a bit higher. So, the Corvette takes the lead. As you can see there, the Corvette is definitely fast, but it is also definitely loose. There, as you can see, almost spun out there. But ET Top 100 held it the best he could there, but Ricky's Ghost is right there in the draft to try to make the pass back. We're going on here to the last stretch of the race, and Ricky's Ghost is definitely fighting for his life. That BMW 507 is the bigger car of these, but the Corvette can pack a pretty good punch too. It's loose, but, well, it is pretty long. I think it actually is longer than the 507, so it can still take a pretty good beating and give a pretty good beating as well. But, as I said, it is most definitely loose. So, pretty much it's down to the SL to not get an L. But, it's close. It can still be anyone's race coming down to the final turns of the race. And as of now, J.K. Racing 23 might win the race. But everybody's close right yonder on his back bumper to see if they can make a move. Ricky's Ghost is in the draft, the top tier wrecking. Let's see if he can take advantage. And... I don't know, folks. That was close. We'll go to the incident replay here. But honestly, it was so close, I don't even think the camera could do it justice. Because reasons even though it's proof. But, anyway, as you can see here, Jake Harris, 20 years in the lead, battling with Carts and Andrew. He hits him there, slow him down, but Ricky's Ghost has momentum. Carts and Andrew spins him across the line, but apparently, according to J.K. Race 23, J.K. Race 23 gets the win. So, that was definitely a competitive race, and J.K. Race 23 he gets the win, I think, maybe. In the Dirty Nerds Racing League, the best dirty league out there. Yeah! Oh.